Hi, my name is Manish Gupta, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Cosmos 2.5, which is a multimodal model for machine reading of text intensive images. This is a model from Microsoft Research, and in short, the model is meant for doing optical character recognition, take an image and convert it to uh, bounding boxes, as you can see. Uh, so, you know, uh, the, the input is basically this image on the left side. And uh, then uh, it can output either of these two, you know, uh, this one or the third one, where in the second image, as you see, uh, it's basically extracted text with bounding boxes around it, right? So essentially this text was extracted from this part of the page uh, and, um, uh, you know, uh, with the appropriate rectangle, or it can actually also generate this markdown formatted document. So this is of course machine readable markdown formatted document. Here are more examples. So you could take this one as input and this is the output where uh, the output here is in terms of uh, 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 you know uh, text extracted with bounding boxes. Here are more examples. So you could basically take this particular document and uh, get uh, these bounding boxes extracted along with the text uh, around them. Um, so that's that or you could also apply it on PowerPoint slides and you know uh, extract out the text uh, uh, associated, uh, you know, from from these scans. So how is Cosmos 2.5 pre-trained? Well, as you see, Cosmos 2.5 is a very simple model. It uh, actually contains a vision encoder followed by uh, a, a perceiver resampler model. Uh, it takes these as, of course, you know, it can take any documents as input. Uh, so the encoder part is a vision encoder and a resampler. And the decoder part is essentially a shared decoder only uh, transformer. So, so that's basically, uh, so the decoder is essentially a transformer and shared. So what does shared mean? It basically is uh, uh, shared across two different kinds of tasks. So uh, one of the tasks, uh, um, you know, th th these two different transcription tasks. So one of the tasks is to generate this kind of output, which is spatially aware text blocks where each block of text is assigned its special coordinates uh, or the rectangle within the image. Um, on the other hand, it can also, uh, you know, the same shared uh, decoder only transformer can also generate uh, this kind of output, which is basically structured text output uh, that captures styles and structures, uh, you know, in, in the markdown format. So that's that. Now here, uh, when you're inputting the, um, I mean, when you're providing the document as input, there are image representations that are required. So this basically uh, uses a vision encoder, which is essentially a VIT model. Um, and the particular architecture that it follows for input encoding is a variable resolution input strategy, uh, just like pix to struct so if you look at the pix to struct paper, just the same kind of uh, way it divides the document into different grids and then, uh, you know, passes them one by one as input to the vision encoder model. Uh, uh, there is a resampler module right after the vision encoder. That's a perceiver resampler module with an attentive pooling mechanism inside it to reduce the size of the overall image embeddings. Now, when you're generating the text, that's great, but uh, when you're training it, of course, you want to encode the text as well. Now, uh, the text lines that are there in the output that are expected to be in the output. Let's consider the document, uh, uh, you know, let's call the document as T uh, and it has n different text lines. So each text line has to be encoded separately. Um, so a bounding box for, uh, so, if, so if it's in the bounded box kind of format, so then the bounding box for a particular text line TN can be written like that. So, you know, it starts with a B box special token, ends with a B box special token. And then, you know, there is this bounding box uh, coordinates. So X, Y uh, for, for, you know, top left and bottom right, top left and bottom right. Okay. So, um, no, but this is just the bounding box coordinates. Of course, the text also has to be encoded. So the overall encoding looks like this. So the overall encoding is uh, uh, S for start token and S for end of start in that or end of sequence, right? And then you have uh, image part going in. So image embedding, and this is the image um, uh, image close tag. And then you have a union over n equal to one to n where there are n different text lines. So, you know, you have BN and then concatenated with TN. So BN is the bounding box, TN is the text. So Essentially, you first encode the image and then you also uh, encode the bounding box along with the text associated. Okay. Now for the other kind of format where you have markdown, there is no bounding box as such. So the encoding is pretty simple. You have S, uh, 
uh, start of sequence, then you have image, start of image, so image embedding, end of image, and then just the markdown sequence, markdown text, and then the end of sequence. <coughs> so that's how, uh, you know, uh, Cosmos 2.5 is uh, is pre-trained. Of course, for pre-training, you need lots of data. So um, the uh, data that they obtain is of two different kinds. Uh, one is for layout-based task. The other is for markup-based task. Layout-based meaning uh, text plus bounding boxes and markup-based based basically means uh, text plus the markdown formatted text, right? Uh, they leverage data across documents from different data sources. Uh, so IIT CD, archive papers, PowerPoint slides, general PDF, web screenshots, and a fairly large data set. Overall, they have like 324.4 million data documents, which is huge, right? So a little detail about layout based documents. Well, IIT CD is basically scan document images where they use Microsoft Read API to get the text and layout from those documents. They also process archive papers, PowerPoint slides, and the general PDF. Um, um, uh, so archive papers are just papers on archive, both the LaTeX and the uh, PDF version. Um, and general PDFs are just diverse open domain digital PDF files that they downloaded. Uh, and they use uh, uh, PyMU PDF uh, parsers so as to extract the layout. Right? Um, they also uh, use a web screenshots data set. And this data set is basically a subset of MC4 web pages. Uh, they scrape it, render it as screenshots, uh, and uh, uh, then use a combination of Playwright along with LXML uh, to extract the structure. Uh, for the markup-based uh, uh, data sets, uh, they have readme files. These are readme.md files from uh, open source GitHub projects. They use uh, Pandoc to get the HTML version, and then uh, um, WKHTML to PDF to get images from the HTML. Uh, they also, uh, you know, work with uh, uh, docx files uh, and LaTeX files as downloaded from the web. And again, they use uh, Pandoc, Markdown, Markdownify, and so on. Such tools as to essentially get the Markdown formatted outputs. Uh, they also experiment with HTML, where they essentially, uh, you know, take HTML files from MC4 dataset and convert them to the Markdown format. Now, so this is how the model has been pre-trained. Now, how does it perform? So. What you see here are results for text recognition, uh, uh, you know, task. So uh, identifying the uh, text uh, OCR text correctly. So uh, they compare it uh, on uh, these three different data sets. Compare with the uh, Google commercial OCR uh, OCR uh, system, right? So what you what you find here is that uh, across all these three data sets, in general, you observe that the precision recall F1 in general is better for the Cosmos uh, 2.5 model, right? Now, if you also look at the image to markdown task, the second kind of task, uh, you also, uh, so, so in this particular case, they compare with the Nogart. So this is a very recent model. Um, and they observe that against this uh, recent model as well, across uh, all of these three different types of uh, documents, they actually obtain better results. Uh, so these, uh, uh, these results are in terms of normalized edit distance and normalized tree-based edit distance measures, and you basically observe uh, that the Cosmos 2.5 uh, method gives you better results. Okay, so in summary, in this video, I talked about Cosmos 2.5. It's a multimodal literate model, as they call it. Uh, it basically is useful for machine understanding of text-intensive images. It involves a VIT encoder combined with uh, uh, with a perceiver resampler combined with transformer decoder uh, shared by two different transcription tasks. For uh, text recognition, we observed that Cosmos 2.5 actually is better than the Google document OCR uh, by multiple uh, you know, F1 points across the three different data sets. We also observed that for the image to um, you know, markdown task, Cosmos 2.5 is better than the Nogart model, which is a very recently proposed model for the same kind of task. Okay. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage. Thank you.